Hello everyone, a warm welcome to my sharing on ensuring safety in the skies, a licensed aircraft engineer's career and beyond. My name is Randall. I'm a senior lecturer for the Aircraft Systems Engineering degree program. Before joining Singapore Institute of Technology, I worked in the aircraft industry for more than 30 years. Like you, I was a poly graduate and I worked for some years before getting my engineering degree. I am excited to share with you the value of this program developed by SIT in collaboration with SIA Engineering Company. I was fortunate to be posted overseas for work in the United States. In one of our family road trips, we drove to North Carolina, where the Wright brothers made the first controlled sustained flight. I learned that the Wright brothers work as mechanics in a shop with presses, machines, bicycles, motors. The brothers had passion that kept them going, kept them curious, kept them learning, unlearning, relearning. The brothers had potential to build a powered aircraft to realize their dream to fly. The brothers had perseverance, overcoming challenges, never giving up. And on December 17, 1903, they finally did it. Did they stop there? No. They continued to push the envelope of their learning and realizing their full potential. The question for you, do you have the right stuff? You may be thinking, I have the passion to work in the aerospace industry, but isn't Singapore a small island with limited skies? Ah, but don't we Singaporeans always punch above our weight? The world is our oyster. The pearls are ours to discover. Many may be pleasantly surprised to learn that Singapore is Asia Aerospace Hub. Singapore contributes to 10% global, yes, I said global, aerospace MRO output. Singapore has more than 130 aerospace companies. And the good news we hear lately is that the worst may be over for the Singapore aerospace industry. More planes are taking to the skies. Companies are hiring. Airport is bustling once more. We are very encouraged that within one month of our pioneer cohort, October 2021 graduation, more than 85% of our aircraft system engineering graduates found full-time employment. Singapore, small island, but we have big dreams. Multinational companies from the US, Europe, UK, China, choose Singapore as they believe in the quality of our MRO professionals. And in Singapore, as the Asia Aerospace Hub, just to name a few, Airbus, Boeing, Bombardier, Rolls-Royce, General Electric, Pratt Whitney, Thales, Panasonic, Goodrich, the list goes on. Also Singapore's very own. SIA, Scoot, SIA Engineering Company, ST Engineering Aerospace. So what would be your career choices? Is licensed aircraft engineer or LAE my only career pathway should I sign up for this degree program? The degree program equips you with an engineering degree in aircraft system engineering and fulfills the licensed aircraft engineer pathway. Some of our students are employed as licensed aircraft engineers in aircraft MRO companies like SIA 
engineering company. As you progress in your LAE career, some will branch out to managerial posts, quality assurance, maintenance planners, customer account support, even business development. And some of you may choose to work in airlines like SIA or Jetstar as tech services engineers or engine landing gear and component MRO companies where you can work as a certifying staff who can sign off the complete engine or landing gear overhaul. Or you can work as repair development, quality assurance and fleet management. You have multiple career choices and multiple career paths as an LAE or as an aircraft system engineer. What about opportunities to work overseas? Aerospace is a global business. As our overseas customers fly in their aircraft, engines and components to be maintained in Singapore, you will have opportunities to travel. It could be field work. In my time, we have sent engineers to Africa, India, Europe and China to troubleshoot and rectify aircraft and engine defects. You could be involved in aircraft buys where you conduct in-process checks and aircraft acceptance. Or you could be posted overseas to work and experience new culture and career growth. Take for example our two homegrown companies, SIA Engineering and ST Engineering Aerospace. These companies have presence in the United States, France, Germany, Australia, Japan, China, Philippines, Indonesia, Vietnam. SIAEC alone is providing extensive maintenance, repair and overhaul services to more than 80 international airlines worldwide. Singapore's market is global, although we have a stronger presence in Asia. Steve Jobs once said, and I quote, if you are working on something exciting that you really care about, passionate, you don't have to be pushed. The vision pulls you. So it's not a question of how far your career can bring you, but it is how far you want to go. Let me share with you more about the value of your aircraft system engineering degree. In a nutshell, you acquire skills, knowledge and aptitude to be a practicing aircraft maintenance engineer. The key word is practicing. Hands on, in the line, in the hangar, in the workshop or field work deployment overseas. Civil Aviation Authority of Singapore has supported this degree program under the Singapore Airworthiness Requirements Part 147 Approved Maintenance Organization. The program incorporating the SAR 66 Aircraft Maintenance License Theory and Practical is developed in collaboration with SIA Engineering Company. You will achieve number one, Bachelor in Aircraft System Engineering with honours. Number two, Certificate of Recognition by SIA EC, which is recognised by CAAS. And number three, to acquire your LAE licence in a significant shorter time than other engineering degree holders. On the curriculum structure, in year one, you will be mainly taught by SIT professors to build and strengthen your fundamentals in engineering, covering mechanical, electrical and electronics. Examples of modules are math, physics, electrical circuits, fluid mechanics, heat transfer, aerodynamics. In year two, you will be at SIA Engineering Training Academy located in Luoyang to gain basic 
practical skills in aircraft maintenance. Year two and year three will be on core modules on airframe and avionics requirements to be an LAE. And your IWSP Integrated Work Study Program is in the final two trimesters. In the aircraft hangar of SIAEC, where there will be a mix of classroom theory and hands-on work on the aircraft, you will be fulfilling your structured on-the-job training to be an LAE. Albert Einstein once said, and I quote, I have no special talent. I am only passionately curious. In your final two trimesters in campus, you will work on your capstone project to solve engineering problems, which are industry challenges. Building on your technical knowledge and project design skills acquired in classrooms, you will have the opportunity to analyze, propose, and develop solutions for the aircraft MRO industry. Most of the capstone projects will have an industry expertise to co-mentor you with SIT professors as your supervisor. Some industry challenges that students worked on are image processing as a quality control check for engine final assembly, studying the behavior of airflow using computational fluid dynamics, drone design to meet specific operating requirements, developing a digital twin model to predict structural health, and application of virtual reality to simulate aircraft operations. All very interesting. In this challenging and demanding program, there will be times when you feel stretched, stressed, strung out, assignments piling up, due dates to hand in, quizzes to prepare, exhausted by the end of the day. And that's where you need to dig deep. Remember why you started. Remember your passion. This is who you are and what you're meant to be. These moments will define you as you catch the second wind and press on and persevere. Let's hear from Kendrick and Danny, your seniors who have graduated and who are now trainee licensed aircraft engineers. Over to Kendrick. Hi everyone, my name is Kendrick and today I'm going to share with you about my IWSP experience at SI Engineering Company. Now, my experience at SIEC can be summed up into two parts. First is my skills training and secondly is my on-job training. So for my skills training, I have attended a few courses such as sheet metal repair course as well as composite repair course. Now, these two courses are an eye-opening experience for me because prior to attending these two courses, I have no experience in drilling as well as riveting. So I'm always forever grateful for the instructor's guidance and patience in me. For those who love hands-on, you'll definitely enjoy these two courses. Now for my on-job training experience, I have the privilege to work together with the engineers and technicians on the ground. They gave me a great perspective on how to work together in order to get the maintenance job done. And to be able to work together with them is a great privilege. Okay, thank you, Kenrick. Over to Danny. Hello, everyone. My name is Danny Ardian, and I am a proud graduate in the Pioneer Batch of Aircraft Systems Engineering, or ASE. If you are keen to be a licensed aircraft engineer, or LAE, then this course is a perfect place for you. It will provide you a platform that gives a competitive edge among your other peers. You will get a chance to be employed by SIE Engineering Company, or SIEC, even way before graduation. I had an amazing time spending three years in my degree program. Being in this course allowed me to gain valuable exposure and experiences, especially during my time in IWSP. I was exposed to hands-on practical, ranging from the classic Boeing 747 to the latest Airbus A350. However, as students, we always feel stressed coping with our studies, so do not worry. Please be rest assured that when the going gets tough, you will have wonderful professors and instructors who are more than willing to help. So what's that to wait? I look forward to seeing you in the next batch of ASE. Till then. All right, thank you, Danny. 
you are not alone. The teaching faculty and SIA engineering instructors are with you, journeying along, coaching, helping you to learn, to grow, and cheering you on to realize your passion and your potential. Nothing can hold you down if you don't. You will acquire skills, knowledge, and experience. All very important, but these don't define who you are. But holding on to your passion, potential, and perseverance, overcoming the challenges ahead, these qualities will define you. These qualities will determine that you have the right stuff to achieve your dream. So stay curious, stay passionate, live a life less ordinary, defy gravity, and ensure safety in the skies. Thank you.